If you've been anywhere online recently, you've probably heard all about ChatGPT and all the possibilities that it brings with it. This computer software uses AI to have conversations and answer real questions that you ask it. There are so many implications and possibilities about what this means to print on demand, but there's no doubt that things are definitely going to start to change and that this is a real opportunity to use as a tool in your business to make more money and make things a lot easier on yourself. There are so many different ways that this could be used, but one of the immediate possibilities that I started thinking about is how you could use chat GPT to actually help you come up with trendy niches and phrases for your t-shirt designs. If you're a print on demand seller, you know that sometimes researching and finding those niches and what you're actually going to put on your shirts and products can be the most time consuming part of this entire process. So what if there was a way to actually hack this and cut down on the time you're spending creating those phrases and have a lot of great ideas to work with? I'm going to show you exactly how I put chat GPT to the test and whether I think this is a tool that is worthwhile using in your business. So stick around. I'm Hannah and on this channel I share about all things print on demand and making passive income. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love it if you'd subscribe down below for new videos every single week. First of all, if you've never used ChatGPT before, it's really easy. All you're going to have to do is go to the OpenAI website and then go to the ChatGPT3 Playground tab and there you'll either create an account or log in if you already have one and then you're going to be able to start chatting. I use ChatGPT to come up with a 90 different t-shirt phrases and ideas in nine of the most popular niches out there. Some of these niches I've talked before about in this video here and I wanted to see how chat GPT actually stacked up to these popular niches that sell every single day. What I found during this time creating these t-shirt ideas is one of the most important things was setting the parameters when you are going to ask chat GPT a question. Typically I found the more specific I could get the better results that I had and you will see that a little bit more later when I show you actually what I came up with. The first niche that I wanted to tackle with this project was the really popular kids birthday niche. So the first thing that I searched was give me five kids birthday t-shirt phrases and this is what it came up with. I'm the birthday king or queen, birthday squad, let's party, today is my big day, it's my birthday and I'm ready to celebrate in another year older but still young at heart. Right away there is not a huge winner for me but there are some great jumping off points. So let's move on to that next niche that is really popular that I also wanted to see what it could come up with. So next I search, give me five t-shirt phrases for a mom to be. I've talked many times about how the pregnancy and new mom niche is a gold mine when it comes to finding shirts that are going to sell time after time. This is what it came up with. Eating for two and rocking the bump, growing a tiny human one day at a time, mom to be and proud of it, bumping along with my little one and can't wait to meet my bundle of joy. So a lot of those are very generic, but there are some great ones like eating for two and rocking the bump, mom to be and proud of it. I could see all of those working really well on a t-shirt with some great pregnancy graphics. Okay, so the next niche that I wanted to take a look at what it could give me ideas for is for that wedding bridal niche. This again is a niche that sells all the time and there are so many sub niches within the wedding niche as a whole. You can do bachelor parties, bachelorette parties, gifts for bridesmaids, groomsmen, the engagement party t-shirts, you can do honeymoon shirts. So there are so many possibilities of where to take this. I asked for five bachelorette t-shirt phrase ideas. So I came up with bride squad with individual t-shirts saying bride, maid of honor, and bridesmaid, last fling before the ring, drunk in love with the bride to be, here for the bride's last ride, and cheers to the future misses with their last name. So all those are good, very generic. I can kind of see how they are coming up with their ideas. I think it's on best sellers that you often see selling a lot. But right away, something to note with using this software is it's going to give you ideas, but it's not necessarily checking whether those are safe to use. Like I already know right away that Bride Squad, it does have some trademarks on it. So if you chose to use any of these phrases, you definitely still should look them up in the trademark electronic search system just to see if they were safe to use. All right, so I have talked about many times that parenting, Father's Day, Mother's Day niche being a great one to make sales every single year and throughout the year. So let's see what it came up with. Dad jokes, it's how I roll. I have a beautiful daughter and a gun, a shovel and an alibi. I have a hero, I call him dad. Dad, the man, the myth, the legend, dad bod, engaged since fatherhood. So some of those I can see that it's already a popular phrase that sells well. Dad jokes is how I roll that I've seen sell really well and it probably would be hard to break into that. Or dad, the man, the myth, the legend. Again, that would be another hard niche to break into. But there are some great jumping off points. So let's move on to the next niche. So I've talked about before that the educator niche is one of the biggest ones in print on demand. There is so much money to be made, but oftentimes people are only targeting teachers while you 
you actually can target the entire school system, all the support staff that goes into it. You can target parapros or principals, custodial staff, or even people like bus drivers or teacher's aides. So today I went for that bus driver niche. I had it come up with five bus driver t-shirt phrases. The best bus driver ever. I drive a bus. What's your superpower? My other car is a school bus. Bus driver because superhero isn't an official job title. Bus drivers make frequent stops. So I think any of those are pretty good. I think you definitely would have to do some refining for all of those, but I think these are better than some of the other ones that it's come up with. All right, so in my 2023 trend prediction video, I talked a lot about how vacation shirts are going to sell like crazy this year. So I went with that theme and I asked it to give me five Thailand vacation t-shirt phrases. And this is what it came up with. Thailand adventure awaits, land of smiles, Thailand, Swati Thailand, eat, beach, sleep, repeat in Thailand, Thailand where every day feels like paradise. So all of those are pretty good. Again, a little bit generic, but I think that those would make great shirts if you wanted to target the couple that's going to Thailand. Another trend I've been saying is going to be huge in 2023 is that thrifting, garage sailing, buying used, recycling what you have. So I asked it to come up with five t-shirt phrases in a thrifting niche. It came up with, I thrift because I care about the planet, good things come to those who thrift, Thrifting ain't easy, but it's worth it. Second hand is the new black. Thrift all day, every day. I think these are a little bit more of winners compared to some of the other ones, but even a few I would refine even more. So thrifting ain't easy, but it's worth it. I would just completely take out, but it's worth it. Thrifting ain't easy, that's a great one. I thrift because I care about the planet. I don't really see that as a t-shirt slogan. I would do something more like I thrift because I care with a graphic of the world on it. I think that just translates way better into a good t-shirt design. All right, so the next trend that is really popular this year and was last year too is cottage core so I had to come up with five cottage core phrases came up with cottage vibes only wildflowers and sunshine living my best cottage life and let's get lost in the woods and simple pleasures of country living so again all of those I don't really love for t-shirts cottage core sometimes is more about the graphics and aesthetics so you might not necessarily need a phrase but I don't think it came up with the best ones here the last trend that I asked it for was coming up with five groovy t-shirt design phrases this is what it came up with peace love and groovy vibes far out man stay groovy baby tune in turn on groove out get your groove on. So I could see some of those working. They're not my favorites, but again, I wasn't very specific in the prompt that I gave it. What I have learned over the course of using this software a little bit is the more specific you can be in the greater the parameters you can set, the more success you are going to have generating results to your questions and getting really good ideas that could actually work to help your print on demand business. So for example, if you were looking for Republican t-shirt ideas, this is what I would ask. Instead of saying generate a Republican t-shirt idea, I would ask something like this. Generate a t-shirt idea with a humorous tone for a Republican audience. Or give me t-shirt ideas for conservatives that promote patriotism and liberty. Or give me conservative t-shirt ideas that promote this candidate. So you see how instead of just asking for a generic Republican t-shirt, you can refine that even more to get more specific and get better results. So I'm going to show you exactly how when I changed some of the questions that I was asking, I got even better results for all of those nine niches that I previously had it generate t-shirt ideas for. So let me show you that right now. As a rule in print on demand, being more specific typically is in your best interest. So chat GPT can actually help you with this. Instead of just the generic kids birthday t-shirt ideas that I asked for originally, I instead asked for ideas for t-shirt ideas for a birthday party for a five-year-old that is having a dinosaur themed birthday. And this is what it came up with. Roar means happy birthday in dinosaur. Roar some five-year-old. I'm dynamite at five. Let's party like it's the Jurassic period. Today is going to be dynamite. And I don't know if you could tell, but I feel like all of these phrases are so much better than those just generic ones that we came up with originally. You would think that sometimes making something a lot more specific is going to have a harder time with coming up with enough answers and phrases for you. But actually I found it's the exact opposite. There are so many more usable phrases here just by confining the parameters and you have so much more to work with. So you could repeat this again with a six-year-old, seven-year-old, or you could do an eight-year-old girl's ballerina themed birthday party or a princess themed birthday. So the possibilities are really endless about what phrases it could generate for you just in this kid's birthday niche. So let's move on to that next one. Instead of just a generic mom to be sure, I had it generate five ideas for a gender reveal for the mom to be. So it came up with team blue or pink, what do you think? Bump in the road, gender to unveil. We can't wait to meet our little prince or princess. 
it's a gender reveal. Let's get this party started. Can't keep calm. It's a gender reveal. So again, those are just a little bit better, I think, than those last ones. Not all of them are going to be winners, but definitely the more specific, the better. So I'll show you this even more with the next one. So instead of just a generic bachelorette party, I wanted to go the route of shirts for a bachelorette party that is going to be in Malibu. And it came up with, why not? It's a bachelorette party in Malibu. Here for the bride's final rosé. Beaches, bridesmaids, and booze in Malibu. Bachelorette bash, Malibu edition. Drunk in love with the bride-to-be and Malibu wines. Not only is it giving me these five very specific Malibu bachelorette party ideas, you could just change that one word to Nashville or Vegas and have hundreds and hundreds of different ideas generated for you just by changing this a little bit and getting more specific. And again, you could do the same thing with a bachelor party instead or for an engagement party. The possibilities are really endless with how specific you could get with these prompts. Now for that Father's Day shirt, I again wanted to get very specific because I think that you you are going to be more profitable by niching down anyways in your print on demand business. So I wanted to find ideas for Father's Day for a girl dad who is also a realtor. And this is exactly what it came up with. Dad of girls raising future homeowners. I sell houses and raise daughters. What's your superpower? My daughter is my favorite client. I'm not just a realtor. I'm a hashtag girl dad too dad of girls and master of real estate. So again, I think those are just way more appealing t-shirt phrases and you're niching down a lot. So you have more potential to actually make sales than competing in those wider, just father's day niche. All right. So this, for this bus driver one, I wanted to see what it came up with. If I had a bus driver, who's also a fisherman. So I put those together and this is exactly what it came up with catching fish and making stops. I'm a multitasking bus driver fisherman from the bus to the boat. My two favorite modes of transportation, fishing in the morning, driving in the afternoon. That's the life of a bus driver fisherman. If I'm not driving a bus, I'm fishing for bass, born to drive buses, forced to work, free to fish. So again, I think you could definitely play around with that. And I certainly could have refined that more or found a different hobby that could go along with bus driving. Even though these aren't perfect right away, I think this gets us so much closer to usable phrases that we could actually put on our t-shirts and we could keep refining this more. Next for that vacation niche, I wanted to get very specific with who I wanted to wear this product and what, it, what I wanted it to be like. So I pictured a couple on their honeymoon going to Thailand that wanted to wear a matching shirt. So these are the phrases that it came up with. Forever begins in Thailand, two hearts, one adventure, Thailand honeymoon, Swati Thailand, love is in the air, adventure awaits in the land of smiles, together in Thailand, love, laughter, and paradise. So that just gives us such a better phrase to use on a t-shirt. And again, there are so many possibilities with what destination you could put, what type of couple, what type of vacation this is. Giving it more to work with is actually getting us better results that are going to help us make more sales and get something that people actually wanted to wear. All right, for that thrifting niche instead of just the generic thrifting niche I wanted to create a shirt for a mom who likes to thrift and this is what it came up with I don't need therapy I just need to go thrifting thrift lover saving money in the planet I'm not a hoarder I'm a thrifter thrift more stress less thrift is my happy place I don't really see the mom reflected too much in there but I do think these are better than those original thrifting shirt ideas that it had generated for us so I think there's more potential to refine this but again this is just giving us a way better jumping off point point. and now for that cottage core niche I also have really talked about how hobby farming is very popular now and so many people are buying t-shirts to reflect that so I wanted to kind of cross the cottage core and that hobby farming into one thing so I pictured a mom who likes cottage core aesthetic and also has a small hobby farm and this is what it came up with life is better on the farm cottage core life flowers animals and serenity chasing chickens growing vegetables the cottage core way simple life happy wife cottage core hobby farmer from the garden to the table cottage core farming so i think these are just so much better ideas you definitely would have to refine them but i think these are far and beyond much better than those last ones and then for that groovy trend i again wanted to give it more to work with by thinking about the specific person who's buying this so once again i went with a mom and i asked it to come up with some groovy retro designs for a mom it came up with groovy mom happy life mom of the flower power generation mama's got the funk peace love and mom life raising groovy kids a mom's job those i think are so much better than the original groovy designs it had come up with and way easier to use and again you can swap out mom with the word teacher or nurse or doctor and just create hundreds and hundreds of different phrases and ideas with just a few keystrokes you could come up with tons of different designs not unlike niching down in print on demand chat gpt gave me the best results when i actually really refined and thought about the specific person i wanted to 
sell this product too. It's very hard to compete in these really big niches, but if you can break it down into smaller sub niches or think of very specific customers, for example, crossing a bus driver with a fisherman and putting those together, you are really doing yourself a favor and getting ideas that could actually make sales because you're filling a need that a lot of people might not have made products for. I think chat GPT is a really great idea for a jumping off point for some really great phrases. And I think this could potentially save a lot of time. Again, you are going to have to double check all of these phrases in some place like the trademark electronic search system and just make sure that they don't have trademarks or copyright on them. But these could be great ideas and a really easy way to come up with a lot of new products and phrases to add to your print on demand store. I actually plan to upload a lot of these phrases that it gave me and share with you guys the results. So make sure you're subscribed to stay tuned for that in the near future. If you want even more ideas of some trending niches right now, make sure you watch this video where I'm sharing some of the biggest niches this spring. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.